cranberry orange rosemary Negroni. So a Negroni is uh, a very simple drink, always made uh, or typically made in the glass. So you don't even need a cocktail shaker. You do need ice though. Um, so I start out with about an ounce and a half of gin. Then normally I would do um, an ounce and a half of Campari, but I'm going to jazz it up and do three quarters of an ounce of Campari. And Campari is very bitter, um, beautifully colored uh, Italian uh, spirit. It's, it's about 20% alcohol and it tastes like a really, really bitter grapefruit. And, uh, it's a bit of an acquired taste, but once you start drinking it, you're going to love it. Uh, and then I'm going to add three quarters of an ounce of cranberry juice. And this is 100% cranberry. Yeah. This is not a sweetened... Yeah, it doesn't have uh, like extra sugar or anything like that in it. Um, and then the other ingredient in the classic Negroni is red vermouth. So I'm going to do three quarters mm -hmm. of an ounce of red vermouth. Uh, vermouth, as you know, is a fortified wine. So keep it in the fridge and it will stay nice and fresh. Um, then, because I think cranberry and orange go very well together, I'm going to actually squeeze uh, a wedge of orange in this. Normally for a Negroni, you probably wouldn't use a wedge of orange. You'd maybe just finish it with a twist of uh, orange twist on top. But I'm going to add a little more orange flavor to that. Now we add the ice, which I love to spill, spill all, all over, over the, the counter. Spill all over the counter. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oh my God. And now that you've made a mess, you can stir that right in the, oh you know, my God. I am just the klutziest bartender. <laughs> well, these glasses, which are very beautiful, they're a gift from uh, Maria, Rachel's sister. They're not the easiest to stir because as you can they're see- They're triangle shaped. They're triangle shaped, uh, <laughs> not round. So I'm making things more difficult than they need to be. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when you're at home, use a round glass. <laughs> And now I'm going to garnish with a few actual whole cranberries just to make it look pretty. And this was actually Rachel's idea. I'm going to put a little rosemary sprig in the drink. And that looks really Christmassy, really holiday. It's holiday very beautiful, daisy. honey. Thank you. It's very beautiful. It smells delicious. Mwah. And cheers to everyone. Happy holidays. Can I have one too? That's why I made two. <laughs> and triangle glass is probably hard to drink too. Let's spill it. Ooh, that's yummy. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs>